This video is to introduce Sonel electrical test equipment. I'm Lewis Nimick. And my company, Nimick Industries, is the importer and distributor for the United States and Canada. And the items you see piled onto the table here are the most popular uh, pieces of test equipment. And so we keep all of these in stock here, ready to ship on the same day that you order them. They're also available for rent. Take a look at nimicindustries.com uh, or give me a call, 770-331-1393. Real quick, uh, we have micro-ohmeters for contact resistance. We have mega-ohmeters for insulation resistance. We have power quality analyzers, ground testers. We have a thermal cameras. We have ultraviolet corona cameras, uh, the laser thermometers. We have TDRs for uh, time domain reflectometers. We have underground cable locators. We have a lux meter. And we have a phase rotation uh, verifying device. We have a line of uh, current clamp meters and multimeters. And that pretty much sums up the line of, of our most popular test equipment. So I'm going to talk real quick about, about each item. Um, MMR650, that's our micro-ohmeter, measures contact resistance. It's a 10 amp unit. It has a color touch screen interface uh, really nice. It can do some inductive object testing. So if you have smaller transformers or coils, uh, motors, uh, you can get an accurate resistance reading on that coil. Uh, it charges with a regular three prong AC computer cable. It has USB A and B and it has ethernet. It has free software. Um, it has the big alligator clamps and it also has the little pin probes. 10 amp unit is battery powered. We have a 100 amp unit, the MMR6500, and we have a 200 amp unit, MMR6700. Those are not battery powered, but they can do the high currents that you need for some testing. Uh, for insulation testing, uh, mega ohmeters, 1 kV units that are handheld, the MIC10 and the MIC30, goes up to 5 tera ohms in a handheld 1 kV. Then we have uh, 2,500 volt and 5,000 volt compact units, uh, the MIC2501 and the MIC5001. These go up to 5 tera ohms, up to 5 kV. You can operate them still in the case. You got the connections here, leads and clamps are in the bag. Really compact 5 kV insulation testers. Then these big ones come in 5, 10, and 15 kV. These have the high resolution and they can do the graphing and plotting of the insulation resistance versus time. You can get a very detailed look at the polarization index and dielectric absorption ratio, etc. Has some nice safety features. Also has a three phase adapter, the auto ISO. Uh, it's about an $800 add on, but it allows you to connect all the cables one time and it'll iterate through each phase of phase and each phase of ground. So the MIC uh, S series has the graphing with the three phase. Uh, if you take a look at the MIC5010, it's a 5 kV unit in this type of case, and it has a 40 tera ohm range for under $3,000. So a lot of the bang for the buck you're going to see with all the equipment. Uh, look at the specs, look at the prices, compare them, and I think you'll be very pleased to see what we're offering uh, from Sonel here. Um, anyway, next thing, power analyzers, power quality analyzers. It's PQM707. It is fully functional from the color touch screen here. It's got four current channels, five voltage channels, three phases, a neutral and a ground. Four currents, you get three phases and neutral. So it comes with a set of four of these uh, flexible split core CTs. These are 3000 amp CTs um, that it comes with. You can get higher amperage if you need. Um, again, all your SAG, surges, transients, harmonics, power flows, directional harmonics, um, if you just want to see loading, and even just for some quick troubleshooting, uh, this unit takes care of all that power quality analyzer type stuff, and it is under $5,000, which is, uh, if you take a look at some of the other models out there that are the same specs, they're double the price. So, power analyzers. Uh, ground testers, this is our MRU200 GPS. It has a built-in GPS. It can do three-point fall potential, of course. Um, you can do four-point fall potential. Uh, if you order the clamps, you can do any of the clamp methods. And you can also order this uh, ERP-1 accessory for doing the impulse method for like tower grounds. Um, the other thing is there's an MRU-30, which is a uh, 
a smaller, less accurate version. But this MRU 200 right here is under $3,000 and it is accurate to one micro ohm, uh, which is quite a bit more accuracy than you're gonna see with some of the other uh, yellow ones. Uh, next thing is our TDR. Time domain reflectometer, TDR 420, TDR 410. 420 has this big color touch screen. It's got a little more accuracy. Uh, TDR 410, sort of the base model, but you hook these up to your line and uh, on a de-energized cable and you can find out how long the cable is, where the splices are, how far away the splices are, or if you have a fault, I'll tell you where the fault is. Um, so we sell a whole lot of those TDRs because uh, they're also good in the telecom sector and such. Clamp meters, 200 amp clamp meter. Uh, the 400 amp clamp meter also has a, is a full multimeter. Uh, and we have a 1000 amp clamp meter and we go all the way up to this uh, 2000 amp CMP 2000 clamp meter. So look at the CMP 200, 400, 1000, and 2000 uh, if you're looking for a nice current clamp meter. We have the multimeters, CMM 11, the black one down there. Uh, it's like waterproof, drop proof, basic multimeter. Um, I use them, I keep one in my toolbox, you know. Um, next thing, cable locators. So this LKZ, these are the little handheld uh, underground cable locators. This is the LKZ. Uh, 720. They also come in the LKZ 1000 and the LKZ 1500 has the big wand for underground utility location. And uh, let's see what else we got to talk about. Light meters. How much light am I getting in a certain location? That's uh, LXP 10A and 10B. If you're doing lighting projects, you use these to assess how many lumens you're getting. Uh, the LXP 10A is the, uh, the one I have here. It's a little bit more accuracy. Um, and then we have the phase angle or the phase rotation verifying device. So it's a, it's a TKF 12 and TKF 13. You got your three phases. You want to make sure that they're rotating the right way and you haven't got them rolled. Uh, TKF phase rotation. Thermal cameras. So they come in two styles. We have the uprights, KT80, KT200, and KT400 come in the upright style like this. Um, and then we have KT560, KT650, and KT670. Very high resolution. Um, you can change the lenses out. 13 millimeter, 25 millimeter, wide angle lens, high temperature filter lens. They have the flip out touch screens for looking around corners. You can kind of take a different view if you're getting into an awkward position. These operate on an Android interface. They're very easy to use. Uh, they have a video mode. They have hybrid mode where you have uh, visible and infrared combined into one image and then you have a picture in picture you also have a old school viewfinder uh, so you can look into the camera instead of having to use the screen and also the zoom is a mechanical zoom it's not a digital zoom this is a real mechanical zoom so kt series infrared cameras look at the specs look at the prices you'd be very pleased with what we offer um, and then we have the laser thermometers this particular one dit 500 it sits on a tripod, connects to a computer. You can have it looking at the same object as a monitor and it will trigger an alarm if it exceeds a certain temperature. Or you can also just use it for your basic checking the temperature of things. So DIT 500, really nice laser thermometer. Um, and the last thing is our ultraviolet Corona cameras. So these can see into the ultraviolet range. If you have an overhead line, um, if you have insulators out in the air that are charging up air or they're degrading or you're getting a a high amount of ultraviolet emissions, you will be able to detect it and inspect it with this. So these get used by utilities on overhead lines actually quite frequently. We rent these, um, we sell them obviously, uh, but everything you see here on the table is actually part of our rental inventory. So if you need to rent any of this stuff, you wanna try it out before you buy it, give me a call. Uh, you can rent it from us. And like I said, most of these items you can be able to ship on the same day that you order them. Um, and we'll handle the repairs and calibrations here in Atlanta if you need us to do calibrations. And uh, you can give me a call directly, 770-331-1393. Um, that's my cell phone. Look forward to working with you.